This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Express course. I'm on Lesson 8, Loops with Ray and BB-8, Puzzle 9. You can do it. Hopefully we can. <laughs> can you try to get all the scrap metal using just one loop? Oof. Try programming it all out, then finding the repeating code and put it into a loop. Oh, this is an excellent way to do things. So what they're saying is... Let's pretend like we're not going to use a loop and write all of the code because sometimes it's pretty difficult to see patterns without that, to figure out where to do the loop. So, okay, forward, uh, I think I'm going to need to go right and then forward and then left maybe and then forward. I bet some of this is wrong <laughs> and then maybe right and then forward. Oh my goodness. And notice it's getting grumpy because it says, hey, you have eight blocks and you should only have six. But we're just testing for now. That's fine. I'm not sure what this will do. Let's see. Oh, I'm so fast. Okay, that's a start. All right. And then what am I going to want to do? Well, I'm going to want to go left, forward, right, left, forward, right, forward left let's see right forward left oh my goodness All right, I'm not going to do the last block because I don't want it to think we did it because we didn't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I have 19 blocks. And if I said move forward one more time, I would have 20. Let's look for patterns. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Okay, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Let's move it up here. Move forward. Oh, hmm. Well, what if I grabbed it from here? Let's see if it matches. Move forward, move forward, turn right, turn right, move forward, move forward. You see how they line up? And look, let's grab it again. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left. Oh, wait, let's grab it again. And it looks like one final time, and I didn't put the last block on that. So, if I told it to move forward and turn left, I would match, and I would just be right here facing down. So how many times do we want to do this thing? Instead of writing all this code, well, we can use a repeat, and we want to do it once, twice, three times, four times, five times. So let me get rid of all of that. All I need is one time, and then I can put it inside our loop. And remember, this repeat block will now run all of that five times. It will say, oh, okay, computer, do everything inside this pink thing five times. So I'll move forward, right, forward, left, hits the bottom, goes back to the top. That was our first time through. Second time, and it will just keep going. Let's test it out. Ba-da! Awesome. Tricky stuff. Let's keep going. 